Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Vanessa DeBerlay and today I'm going to show you how to make a profile picture. I'm going to show you different ways um, that you can take the picture and then how you can edit it and different places that you can use it. The first thing you need to do is take a picture of yourself. So I'm going to give you three different ways you can do that. And one is the obvious way that you can use a camera or your iPhone. The only problem with that is you can, you have to keep putting it on 10 seconds or three seconds and running across the room. And it's very time consuming. The second way is you could use the camera that's built into your laptop, which that wouldn't be bad. You, you know, just keep clicking, but I found an easier way. What you can do is just to turn your camera on and videotape yourself. And I'll give you an example here. I just videotaped myself, it's kind of <laughs> silly, but um, I just videotaped myself and just kept smiling and then go back through the video, stop it when you see a picture that you'd like, you know, your eyes are open, you're looking at the right, at the camera and things like that and make faces, um, especially if you're using them for YouTube or something like that. So I took a whole bunch of crazy pictures here, but then you can go in and snip them and save them to your laptop. So we'll stop there. All right. So I went ahead and copied all the pictures, put them into a folder, and you can see here I have several. Some of these I'll probably never use, but at least I have something to choose from. And uh, side note there, I hate doing this. So that's why I thought at the beginning of the year, I'm just gonna take a bunch of pictures and different faces so that I'll have them for my YouTube video, um, my thumbnails, and there you go. All right, so now what do we do with them? Notice some of these have backgrounds on them and we wanna remove the background. To remove the background, there is a free program called remove.bg. It's remove background and it's free and you just upload the image there. So what we're going to do is click that button and I'm just going to grab one of those images and show you how you can remove the background and you can use it like that or and then you can edit it and add a background to it. So here's some of my pictures. We're going to pick those up and we'll just pick this one and watch it as it loads the entire background is removed. So I can also use those pictures on my thumbnails if you if you do YouTube videos or anything like that, or you want you might want to create your own background on something else and just have your forefront of your picture. And there you go. No background. Now I can edit this and I did this for my Google picture and then for my profile picture on my YouTube channel, but you can edit it over here to the right and put different backgrounds on that picture so that it's a little bit brighter. And I'm just going to pick anything here. Um, you can put a blur up here, a little bit more professional, or you can go down here and pick something fun. So let's just go ahead and pick the palm trees in the background. And then I'm going to download that. And you can see there. And let's go ahead and download it. It goes right back to your desktop. You're going to download the image. And while that's going on, you're going to go over to Canva. Um, in Canva, you have the, it says right there, that's the name of the picture and it just says remove background. So I'm going to save that to my desktop. I'm going to open up Canva because I also might want that picture saved. I'm, I've got one here. Um, you're going to upload the picture without the background. And this is a place where you can save a profile of yourself if you would like by put your picture over here. And then maybe you want to put it in a circle. So we're going to go to elements. Give that a minute and you can just decide how big you want that to be. And then you can have a profile picture that looks like that as well. And only what's in the picture is going to show up when you download it. You can use that as a little logo or you can use it on anything you want. But that's another way that you can um, use your profile picture. Let's go back to your channel. And up here, you're going to go to customize channel. Once you get in there, it's going to look like this. You see layout and you see branding. And you can see here where I already put a picture of one of the ones that you saw in my folder. Um, so you're going to go to branding and then you're going to scroll down just the first one. It says picture and you just change it. Now I'm going to change it and I'm going to choose that picture that we just took the background off of or that we just put it on. Excuse me. I think it went to my desktop. And when you pick that picture, it says this is what it's going to look like and you click done. 
you can see it will change it out and then you can click publish now I'm not going to save it because I've already got one there that I'm using but once you hit publish then it will tell you to go to your channel again I'm not going we're just going to view channel now and this is where it's going to show up and there you go there's your little profile picture and you can change that out anytime you want with it can have a background or you can just um, have one without one and there you go easy peasy you can make your own profile pictures you don't have to worry about going out and getting something professional just take them yourself it's okay it's called YouTube for a reason so you just be you whatever that is take your picture get it on there so everyone knows what you're who you are right thank you for watching go ahead and give me a thumbs up or hit the like button and leave me a comment and if there's something that you would like to know how to do I, this is a lot of times where I get my video ideas are from the questions that you ask me so if there's something you would like to know let me know down below and I will answer your question with a video nine times out of ten so you have a good one and again thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.